Thank you very much. Just have to begin for all the different hosts and uh, the sponsors of the big and the uh, and I really appreciate your class is at the base of Ontario, is that right? Yeah. Anyway, so really happy to see everybody. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. And uh, I traveled a long ways to get over here. And one of the uh, things that we always do whenever we have an opportunity to go travel somewhere is to uh, uh, like to show some respect and show honor, consideration, and acknowledgement to your host. How many of you live here in Georgia, state of Georgia? Anybody live in here? Yeah, so that's, uh, that's a good protocol. A protocol like that's kind of a formality. So I'd like to uh, observe that formality and I'd like to dedicate a song to everybody here. And so uh, before I do this song, I'll tell a little short story. And uh, I have this, uh, I have this uh, little children's no, no. book. Can everybody hear me okay? Yes. Okay. And so I'd like to tell a story to illustrate it. Uh, you guys want to move up you can see it's a little bit better, I think. And uh, anyway, uh, it's a story about the eagle. And before I uh, tell the story, uh, before I do the song, I tell the story. And it's, uh, now this book, has, it's, a, it's not my story, but I just, you know, put it into print. It's quite an old narrative from uh, up in the Northern Plains area. And it goes back to a time, uh, I think a lot of people throughout the world have similar stories about the, uh, uh, the Great Flood, the destruction of the world. So now, here I'll show you. Can you guys see this picture here? Can you see that? <coughs> so this picture, I'll bring it over here in a second. So this picture shows uh, people, and you can see these people are not happy campers. Can you see that? They're not really happy campers. They're kind of like quarreling. They're uh, fighting with each other. They're grouchy. Things like that. Not like you guys, but this is the way these people are here. You're kind of like maybe people want to go on, on the interstate highway during rush hour. <laughs> anyway, so uh, this is the way people were. And so it was just, and pretty soon everybody was feeling like this. And the Creator above, the Great Spirit, God, decided this is no good. I have to change things around. And it was so bad, the only way that things could be changed was uh, by a completely like destroying the world. So what happened was that great flood, can you guys see that? So the creator above God sent the great flood down into the world. The rains kept coming and coming, a great deluge. And so the flood waters kept coming down and covered the world in water. This was to cleanse, like to purify and cleanse the world. And so, uh, but not everybody was bad. There were some good people on the world, in the world. And these people got together and they sent a prayer up towards heaven. And in their prayer, they asked God to preserve anything good, anything heavenly in the heart of humanity, in the heart of mankind or humankind. And so this prayer went up. And at the last minute, the creator above sent, now this is the legend now, sent a great eagle down to the world. And there's one survivor. And this is a woman and she was there on the last little piece of land before it was submerged. So anyway, this eagle came down and uh, swooped down and uh, rescued that girl, that young lady. And so uh, this eagle flew with her over the water, they flew. You guys see okay? They flew over the waters and they kept going, but there's no place to land. Finally, finally, at last, they found a place to land. And this was the top branch of the tree of life. The tree of life. You guys know about the tree of life. Anybody ever read like Tablet of Ahmad? Yeah. You read that, I'm pretty sure. And uh, anybody read Hidden Words towards the end? I think the last one. And really, it's all throughout the writings of Baha'u'llah. He speaks about the tree of life. 
And maybe that's a subject for your future classes. You can look at that. But anyway, they found the top branch of the tree of life. It's just a legend. And they were safe there. They waited there until the waters went down. The earth was exposed. And according to legend, from the ego and from the woman descended the human race. It's just a legend. And they spread out over this world, far and wide, over the far reaches of the world. Now the legend says that in the future, the descendants will come back here on this beautiful land. And uh, in my language, we call this, uh, North America, we call it, we need to call it Makawita, uh, the beautiful island. Or some say, uh, some say uh, Keawita, the turtle island, either way. Either way. So they said that the legend says in the future the descendants will come back here on this beautiful land. And if you look around and even look at each other, you can see that's true. You can see right here amongst us a few people here, a good representation of different diverse peoples from throughout the world. A lot of you have ancestors maybe from Europe, maybe Africa, Asia, so forth, all over. See? That's you, that's who we are. And so, uh, but we see there's a lot of conflict in the world. Did you guys notice that? Not amongst us. No, no, not us. You go out there, you can see that. But the legend says that someday a generation will appear on this land, this beautiful land where we are, and they'll be able to open their eyes and to see and recognize the spirit of the eagle in themselves and each other. So when I look at you all, I think you are that generation. You are that promised yeah. young people. So I'd like to dedicate this eagle song to all of us here, all of us eagles. You know, uh, you know, I, when I was um, when I, earlier, maybe I saw some of you, I had a t-shirt, or his t-shirt has a picture of a sitting bull on there. And when sitting bull was asked to give up his ways, he said, his response was, Hiya! This is no, it's not necessary for an eagle to become a crow. <laughs> In other words, what he's saying is our birthright is to soar like an eagle, not to be fighting over roadkill down here like you see crows that do that. That's not our heritage. This is our birthright is to soar. I'd like to dedicate the eagle song to all of us eagles. The song that says, uh, some of the eagles fly early in the morning in pre-dawn darkness. Eagles inspire to fly up. The eagle flies up and finally sees the light coming into the world. And the eagle calls out and says, I, I am the first to fly to this new day. Next part says, I'm the first to fly to this new day. On page to Milwaukee. In other words, in the golden eagle, in the bald eagle status, and they fly in the dawn. So basically, what I'm saying is that this is your day to soar. You can be eaglet, you can have your little eaglets here. Doesn't matter if you're golden, you can be a brown eagle, you can be white, you can be black. You got a few bald eagles back over there. <laughs> I'd like to dedicate this to all of us eagles here today.
that's uh, that's in my language. I, I put the language, and there are a lot of languages. Uh, even though uh, North America, I think, is for linguistically the, the most critically endangered uh, place on the planet, and lost the languages very fast. But uh, you know, there's a lot of North American languages. When I was younger, about everybody in my community, that's what they spoke was uh, a lot of the language. So we learned that. And uh, but there's so many languages. I'll give you a little, little example. Like down here, around this area, if you greet somebody in Choctaw, you can try that. Say, Halito. 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 in Choctaw. You greet somebody in, uh, like in, uh, in Muscogee, in Creek, uh, Rikisuke, they say, Chihan Tamo. Chihan Tamo. You greet somebody in uh, Cherokee, they say, Osio. Osio. Like up Ireland, you greet somebody and say, oh, you say, hey, this is all right, how are you doing? You say, Tony Kukahe. Tony Kukahe. Next community over, like in uh, uh, Rick Rob, they say, Gee, did you make like that? If you go amongst the, like the man, then they say, Deskaj Ni. Deskaj You can hear there's so many different languages. That's why here in this beautiful land, here, they created the world's first standardized universal language. Now you know, this is something that uh, we will have in the future, which is a universal language. And, uh, but they did that long, long ago, before other European other languages came here. They created this. Did you guys know that? It's really interesting. And I'll see if you can figure out what it is. It's, it's, uh, it's a, uh, okay, I'll give you some hints. First of all, it's a silent language. What do you think it is? Silent. Yeah, it's silent. So it's not for deaf people, it's for hearing people, but they just speak different languages, you see? You see? And I'm going to show you, it's really fast to learn now. It's silent, but I'm going to share a little demonstration with you guys. And uh, uh, like I'll cheat, uh, when I do the demonstration, I'll say the word in English along with each sign. Now what I'm going to do is I'll do a prayer in sign language, okay? Now when I do this prayer, don't close your eyes. Don't close your eyes. Keep your eyes open because when I get done, I'll give you a test, okay? And I want you guys to pass the test. And I have a little bit of a, I have a background track here. Hold on. Background track here. Uh, okay, I'm going to start now. You guys watch closely. It's a prayer. Yeah. 
have hidden in every leaf and rock. I seek strength not to be greater than my brother, but to fight my greatest enemy myself. Make me always ready to come for you. Clean hands and straight eyes so that the light fades like the fading sunset. My spirit may come before you without shame. Now, this will be, we'll do that on the count of three, on the count of three, 
Okay. Do the same size of your leg, okay? Because when you get the bottom of your once, okay? Turn your leg. Okay, ready? Ready? Count three now. One, two, three.
and just stack them up and put them over there. Remember where they are though, and maybe maybe about over four deep on this side too. Four deep. Just put them on the side over there, stack them up, and we'll put them back when we get done. Okay, guys? Put them back. Yeah. Just uh, maybe you didn't hear me just take okay? Got a little fire still. Pack these chairs up all over the road. Pack them up. Four colors. Black, red, yellow, and the white. These colors are in different directions. You can't hear me, it means you're talking. <laughs> Represent the directions, the seasons, the elements, different stages of life. All represent different kinds of people in this world. So uh, that's what those colors are. And uh, the design of the surf was very important all over the world. In the Baha'i writings, Baha'u'llah says, actually as the Baha'i Paris talks, this, Baha'u'llah has drawn the circle of unity. He has made the design for the well-being of all of humanity. The, the design looks like this. And these are these are good groups that have these now for about 40 years. These have gone to 95 countries here. Yeah. So then, uh, now just as a preface, I have to say that I'm not in my 20s anymore, but I'm just, my motto is like, who's the group? So bear along with me. <laughs> anyway, so uh, now I'm not going to do the whole thing because uh, I want to leave an opportunity. We're going to have time to uh, have participation. I'd like to say we can get most, most of you to participate. I've seen you run about 60 hoops here. So uh, I want to leave time for that, but not to do the whole thing, okay? Just like if you have like, uh, you know, like in your martial arts, you've got different levels. Everything has levels. So this is like that. So I'm not going to do the really hard level at all. I'm not going to do that. I like the black belt. No, I'm not going to do that. I'll just do like the green belt and the white belt, okay? And uh, basically, the hardest way to do it is to get the black belt. One hoop. It takes a lot of speed, a lot of agility, it takes a lot of uh, coordination, a lot of dexterity, a lot of uh, flexibility and athleticism. And then the more hoops you add, the easier it gets because all you're doing is making designs. As you add hoops, you just make designs. That's it. So I'm not going to do the really the hard part from uh, one to five. This is the easy part of the start with uh, six. We'll go to 28. Is that okay with you guys? Okay. Yeah. All right, we're going to do that easy part. Now, uh, because I'm not going to do the hard part from one to five, I'll give you a little overview because it all tells a story. Because here in North America, when we have our music and dance, it has zero relationship to entertainment. There's nothing entertaining about it. It's all about keeping that vision alive in our hearts and our minds amongst the people. And that vision is the hoop of life, where everything is connected, everything is related. And so when you use one hoop, we celebrate. We celebrate that beautiful uh, relationship that we have within this creation, where we all exist within this greater hoop of life, along with their, all the minerals, the plants, the animals, all of creation. And we have this beautiful place that's in our families, our communities. That's what we celebrate with like one hoop. All the designs of one hoop, they accentuate that beautiful relationship that we have, maybe as individuals. And then all the designs we can do with that, we kind of like figure that out. Figure that out. Okay. And then, uh, then we go to the... Uh, is for uh, the moon, right, the moon, and that's the, uh, represents the power that controls the water, you know, the moon affects the tides, also the different uh, uh, maturational cycles of plants and so forth, and we all know the main one is the sun, the sun, and I know you guys are all learning about this, that this is the day when the sun of reality is shining. This is the time now, it's a springtime that autumn can never overtake. In other words, that sun of reality, which is represented by the uh, manifestation of God, is reaching its highest stage now. 
We're at that point in the history of humankind. We're living there. And so that light is coming down, just like out in nature, the solar energy is light and heat. We all need that. We all need that. But as human beings, we need more. We need the light of divine knowledge. We need the warmth of divine love. And when we have that, then we can advance, we can progress, we can advance on our journey of life. As we go on the journey of life, we go through stages. We go through stages. And now, you know, every uh, messenger, can you all hear me? Yes. Yes. Every, you know, messenger of God, they bring a new springtime into the world. And now we can see mankind is going through this great, huge change. Collectively, we're doing this. And it seems like now, I know, do you guys ever, do you guys have cell phones? Yeah. Have you ever looked at those, uh, do you ever have a news app? Do you have a news app on your cell phone? Do you have that? Yeah. Don't look at that! <laughs> it's depressing! And everything you look at here just shows all this corruption, all this disease and poverty and climate changing, everything going haywire. So we can really see that as a human family, we're stuck. You guys ever know that? We're stuck. We're stuck. We're stuck. And sometimes, you know, people just want to give up. They're desperate. They're looking for a way out of this, this, this impact, this, uh, this horrible situation. So we need to keep struggling. You know, especially you and I, we have a lot of work to do to get past that, to get through this. Period of time, we can stand on the other side. Stand tall. And of course, that struggle we're going through gives us the capacity, the talents we need to reach up. It's like a plant reaching up in the spring. You guys got to use your imagination. Can you see the plant? Like a plant coming up in the spring? So then this plant is you and I. It's also our communities, our institutions. There's like the plants reaching up. And as we reach up, we begin to draw strength just like a tree. We draw strength from our roots. And now I know a lot of the communities you guys live in have an opportunity to really diversify, to draw strength from your community roots. Maybe they're African roots. Maybe they're Asian, could be European, whatever they are. This is the time now when you need that strength to reach up the tree of the human family, to reach up and branch out now. Because our job is to no longer look at each other as strangers, see? We have no option. We have to see each other really as like flowers, you see? Flowers in one garden, you see? Very diverse, very fragrant, very beautiful, colorful, such as we are. We can't see each other as strangers. We have to see each other as stars. Read the tablets of the divine plan, guys. The first tablet says to North America, you must shine as morning stars from the horizon of the world. When does the morning star appear? At the coldest, <laughs> darkest hour before the dawn. Yes, morning, but it's a special time. The coldest, the darkest hour before the dawn. This is where we are in the world, folks. This is our day to shine. Or maybe you can shine like that North Star. When you're lost, you can't find your way. What do you do? Look at yourself. Oh, no. <laughs> there. That North Star never moves. It's fixed. It's a guiding guidepost. That's your job now. So we don't have to look at each other straight. We can see each other maybe. It's like eagles, swords, or dawn. Does that make sense, guys? Okay. <laughs> and uh, again, the design represents different kinds of people, diverse people. So the sequence of uh, design is supposed to be like the uh, springtime. So as you watch, we'll show this, you'll see the, uh, the designs will unfold. It'll be, we'll show designs of the, you know, it's kind of like what I showed, but it'll be more complex, more hoops, but easier, like it's easier. But uh, that's, that's my style. Anyway, uh, so you just watch, you can see the different signs of spring. We use the 28 loops to represent the day in the lunar cycle. And every day you see a new sign of spring, a new, a new color. A new fragrance, a new beautiful sound will appear in that 28 day lunar cycle that springs at least where I live. Seasons are condensed. A lot of you live in northern latitude, so that's the way it is. 
And that's exactly where we are in the world today. Things are changing so fast. But when they make designs with these colors, representing diverse people, that means we're only working together to bring this world to life. So you see all the different designs I'll make, you'll see them. Flowers, trees, birds, butterflies, animals, stars, the rainbows, the lightning, different kind of clouds, all different things you know that you see in the spring. Does that make sense, guys? So if you see something there, you can applaud. Don't applaud me, or we're going to encourage ourselves. And then when I get done, I got all these hoops here. I got like 60, I think I have over 60 hoops. So we're going to give, uh, give most of you a chance to give it a try. Does that sound good? Yeah. All right, so hold on now. We have a little bit of time here. So. Huh? Yes. Um, till 3.30. Yeah. We'll do it. We'll, we'll be done with
beyond that rainbow. Climb that ladder. They say education is a ladder, but maybe it's a mountain. And from that summit, that peak, you reach it. And what do we do then? Do we have to turn around and come back? No, no. We just want our flight. Yeah, remember? We soar. And as we soar, then we can see clearly how we can create a beautiful foundation. Remember, every eagle needs a nest. That's what we're doing in our communities. You guys are little eaglets, remember? Your job is to get strong, stand tall, open your eyes, stretch your wings. You guys pay attention now. So you can soar. See? Does that make sense, guys? Okay. And now we go to entertainment. Part of the program. We're going to get everybody to grab one hoop. These are wooden. We're going to leave them here. Leave those. But if they're at least eight, you can come down. If you're eight and under, make sure your parents. Is with you. Is me or under? Good grab a You gotta go fast. Let me get you Everybody good? Yeah. 
Now this is for our primarily junior youth. You guys can hear me? Come up and grab a slope. Junior youth, youth. Come up and grab the loop, guys. Hurry. Hurry, 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 hurry. We don't have a lot of time.
Put your on that uh, next down for me. And the way we do that in North America throughout time is we have music and we do that through dancing. It creates the unity. That's how we do it. Put all your hoops on here, guys. And so uh, we're going to do this uh, friendship dance.